All right, I'm looking at another Sudoku today. So if you're not familiar with Sudoku, um, this is a six by six Sudoku and uh, standard Sudoku rules say that we can't repeat a digit in either in a row, a column, or in a two by three box. So we have to put the digits one through six in all of those areas. Um, we also have some additional rules in this puzzle that adjacent cells can't contain consecutive digits. So like these two cells couldn't be one and two, for example. Um, and a digit in a circle is equal to the number of circles that contain that digit. So um, the digits in these circles are equal to the number of circles that contain that digit. That's the unusual rule that um, probably haven't seen before. And this puzzle is called Bermuda, and it's by Lukes. <laughs> Lukes. I don't know. There's three C's in there, so I'm not really sure. Uh, but Lukes of some sort. Um, so. Yeah, that's about all we need to know. So I'm gonna reset the timer, give it a try. A uh, link in the description if you wanna try this puzzle yourself. And then uh, you can come back and watch me or you can solve it along with me or you can just watch me solve it or whatever you wanna do. Um, but it's there for you if you would like to solve it. So let's reset the timer. And okay, I think the, the circles is the place to start. So there's only three circles. So clearly it's either gotta be a three in all three of them or it's a one in one of them and a two in two of them. So let's think about, could they be threes? If they were threes, um, I think that's gonna limit things a lot. So these would all be threes. You'd have a three there. Uh, so, so let's think about this. If you put threes in these circles, where is the two and the four gonna go? Because the two and the four can't be next to the three. So in this box, if this is a three, you can't put a two or four in any of those. So these would be both be two and four. Same thing up here, these would be two and four, but the two and the four in here puts the two and the four up here in these three, but again, it can't be next to the three, so these would have to be two and four, which would mean, right, so if these are the twos and the fours, then the two and the four down here has to be in the second column, but then either a two or a four would be next to a three in the circle, so they can't be threes, so it's, it's ones and twos, one of them is a one, two of them are twos, so, Let's see, uh, so let's go back to the same kind of thing. If these are both twos, let's imagine that this is the one and these are both twos. I think you're gonna have the same problem. So if that's a two, this time it's the one and the three, right? They can't connect to the two. So these would be one and three. These would be one and three. These would be one and three, which would then put one and three down here. And then you couldn't put a one in the circle because the one and the three would have to be in these cells. So these can't both be twos, which basically just means this one can't be a one. This is a two, okay. So, I mean, the one and the three have to be in here. It's not as helpful as knowing that one of these are a two, but let's do the same thing. So let's think about if this was the two, I'm gonna get rid of the one and the three for right now. If this is a two, what does that do for us? That means that's a one. So if this is, okay, so if this is a one, see, now the one is less helpful than the two because like the three and the two eliminated two possibilities, right? So the two meant the one and the three were here. The three meant the two and the four were there. But the one only affects the two. It doesn't have a digit on the other side. So, but the two would still be in here, which would eliminate the two from all of those. So the two would have to be up here. That's a two. Um, so we're assuming this is a two and that's a one. So the two is up here, but it, ha it would, so this would be a two. If that's two, this is two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, let's use, let's say yellow is two for right now. That's what would happen there. And be over here. The one, this would be a one, so you'd have to have the one, it, one would have to be here. I'm gonna make that red. Cause you'd have, this would be the one. I, th I think that works, I think that works. I was hoping maybe it wouldn't work, like the threes doesn't work, but. Um, all right, so let's think about this. Let's Let's say this is, um, this is red and this is yellow. We don't know which one is one and which one is two yet. But but what we do know is the, the red and the yellow can never be next to each other, right? Because the one and the two can't be next to each other. So if this is yellow, you can't put red in any of these. So red would be in here. Regardless of what digit red and yellow is, the red has to be in one of those two, which means the red has to be up here, right? Because you can't put two reds in the same row. But the red can't be next to that. So the red would have to be here and the yellow would be up here. 
And the yellow, right, so you can't put the yellow next to the red. So if the red is in one of these two, then the yellow definitely can't, well, the yellow's here. So yeah, 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 the yellow would have to be down here. But we know the yellow can't be here, because if yellow is two, clearly you can't put a two next to a two. And if the yellow is one, you can't put a one next to a two. So the yellow would be here. Now, you can't put red next to yellow, but you could put red and yellow this way. So this theoretically could still be yellow, maybe? I'm wondering if that's true, though. Because if, if yellow is two, right? If yellow is two, then this is yellow. So that can't be, because this one can't be a two, clearly. So if yellow is two, that's a two, and this is a two. So the yellow is there. If yellow is one, then this is two, because again, this can't be the two. So, right, so the two is either here or here, right? The two has to be there, because you can't put the two in the same column as the two here. So if it's red, then it's there. If it's yellow, then it's there. So this is a, this is, this can't be yellow basically because either the two is here or here. And so you can never put a one there. So the yellow is here, regardless of if it's a one or a two, that's the, that's the yellow. So that's definitely a one or a two. Um, so I guess if we can, if we kind of know where twos are going to be, we can think about where ones and threes end up maybe, right? We don't know for sure where the two goes, but it might be, it might limit three enough that we could, because if this is a two, we know these are one and three. But what if this is a one? This is a one. We know the two is in one of these. And the three... This would be a two, so you couldn't put a three. If right, if yellow is one, this is a two, and you can't put a three there, so the three goes here. Yep, that's what's gonna happen. Okay, so if yellow is one, then this is two, and that has to be three, because you can't put the three where the one is, and you can't put the three next to the two, and you can't put the three next to this two, this would be a three. So if yellow is one, you have two and three. If yellow is two, well now you can't put a three in here, and these are one and three, um, I don't know if we know which is which, but they would be, either way, these two, I think, are some combination of one, two, and three. I think no matter what. If this is one, then this is two and three. If this is two, then these are one and three. These are definitely one, two, and three somehow. I think the three can be over here, though. I don't think we know for sure. But these are definitely one, two, and three, which means these have to be from four, five, and six, and if the three is in one of those two, then this can't be the four. Um, and I think you're gonna do the same thing over here. So if this is one, then you're definitely gonna have two here, but we already said the three is gonna be up here, so the three has to be down here, and it can't be next to the two, so these are gonna be two, three if yellow is one, and if yellow is two, then we know these are one and three. Yep, yep, yep. So again, four, five, six, but the four can't be in between those. And then let's think, is it going to be the same thing up here? So if this is two, then these are one and three. We know that. If this is one, then that's two, right? Because the two can't be here because of this two, and it can't be next to the one. So if this is one, this is two. So this one can be two, but this would be one and two, and then you couldn't put a three in those. The three would have to be over here, but would it have to be in the yellow? I think this could be a three, couldn't it? If you do one and two, this would be one. The three would be there. I think you could put a three in either of those. So it doesn't work quite the same. I don't think we can say that that has to be a one or a three there. Because you could do one and two and the three could be here. If this is two, then these are one and three. If this is one, then that's two, and I think this could be three. I'm not positive, but I think so. But we do know that the one and the three have to be up here because they can't be next to the two. So this is a four, five, six, because it can't be a one or a three because it's next to the two. Same with these. These have to be four, fives, and sixes. 
I feel like we're getting close. So... We know these have to be, and we've got one, two here. So these are one and three. The one and three have to be in here. So if this is yellow, then these are twos. That's a one. This would have to be a one. This couldn't be the three. If, if two is yellow, this would have to be the one, because the one and the three have to be up here, and the red would be the one. One, one. If two is red, you've got twos. This is one, and this is three. I don't think this can be a one. I don't think this can be a one, because it's a two, right? If this is one, obviously. But if this is a two... If this if this is a one, then your one has to be here. If this is wait. If this is a two, <laughs> now I'm confusing myself. If this is a one, then this can't be one. If this is a two, this is a two. This is a one. You have to have a one over there. So this can't be a one. But I still don't know how that helps. Oh man, I feel like I'm so close, but I not quite there. The fours, the fives, and the sixes. Somehow we've got to get a. A, a, a thing that disambiguates the ones and twos here. We know one of these is a one and one of them is a two, but... Um, okay, so it could be yellow like that. It could be red like that. All right, let's think about what the ones do. I think maybe, maybe it's the ones. So the one there puts a one here which puts a one over there. And it would put a three down here. Ah, maybe that's the thing. Right, okay, think about this. What happens with the three down here? So, <laughs> right, we either do twos like this, in which case you have the one and the three is definitely over here, right? Three, three, three would be there. Where can you put a three in here? That's the question. Look at this column. You can't put a three right here because the two is in one of these spaces. You can't put a three right there. The None of these can be three. This is a three no matter what. That's the thing to look at, which means these are not fours. In fact, it puts a four right there because the four can't be next to the three. That makes this a one. This is not a four. This is not a one. Uh, one, two, this is a four. So this can't be a three. So this is a two. In fact, the three is now... Here, I think, yeah, because this is a three and a one. This is a three. This is a one, two. There we go. That was what we needed. That was the oop, two. That was what we needed to solve it. This is a four, which means this can't be a three. One and three. This can't be a four. That's a four. These are five and six. The five can't be next to the four. So we get six, five, six, five, six, five. This is a five, one, and three. Three, which the three gives us the order of those. These are two, four, and six. This one can't be four or six because it's next to two fives. This is a two. This can't be a four. This is a five and a six. And then we've got three and six at the top and one and four and two and five. And there we go. Very nice. So I believe that is the solution for Bermuda. Um, the trick was just... I was so focused on the ones and twos up here, I didn't realize this has to be a three. I, there was no other way to do a three in that column. It was there for quite a while. Once we knew the two had to be in one of these, we knew the two, the three couldn't be there. So the three would have to, so the, yeah, so the three couldn't be there. Yeah, anyways. Yep, 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 very nice. Okay, very cool. Interesting uh, with the circles thing. That's always an interesting, I, I think I've only done maybe one other puzzle with that that restriction before with the circles, but... Anyways, all right, well, if you solved this puzzle, let me know how it went for you. And if you just followed along with me, let me know what you thought of my solve. And if you saw a different way to disambiguate things other than finding that three at the bottom of column two. And of course, let me know if you'd like to see more Sudokus in the future. And be sure to subscribe for more puzzles of all kinds.